Greetings dear viewers and welcome back to the channel where we're dedicated to helping you navigate the intricate world of data recovery and we're thrilled to have you with us today. Now if you're new here then consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any of our informative content. Now let's get behind a common issue that can send shivers down any computer user's spine. Ah, the infamous no bootable device found error, a digital puzzle that can leave even the most seasoned users scratching their heads. So let's unravel the mysteries behind this enigma, shall we? The most common reasons you may encounter this error are, well, imagine your computer is a symphony orchestra. Each instrument or hardware component needs to play its part and at the right time. Similarly, your computer needs to start from the right place, and that's where the boot order comes in. If the BIOS is trying to start from a non-bootable device like an external hard drive, then you'll encounter this error. Your hard drive is the heart of your computer's data universe, but what if that vital organ starts to falter? A malfunctioning or disconnected hard drive can result in the system failing to locate a bootable device, and hence the dreaded error message. Think of the master boot record as the conductor's baton. It signals where each section of the orchestra should begin playing. Now, a corrupted MBR can lead to chaos, preventing your system from finding its rhythm and causing the error to appear. Your hard drive is divided into partitions. Think of the different sections of a library. The primary partition is where your operating system lives. Now, if it's somehow marked as inactive, your computer won't know where to start the booting process from. Computers are intricate machines with a multitude of components working in harmony. But if one of those instruments is out of tune, say a loose cable or a misfiring RAM module, the entire symphony starts to fall apart. Hardware connections can sometimes become loose over time and tr then cause the error message to trigger. As you can see, the reasons for the no bootable device found error are as diverse as they are frustrating. But don't worry, armed with the right knowledge and tools, you can tackle this issue head on and reclaim that smooth operation of your system. Now that we've unraveled the web of potential causes behind the dreaded no bootable device found error, it's time to give you an arsenal of practical solutions. It might sound simplistic, but this method has saved the day for many frustrated users. Over time, the vibrations and jostling that our computers endure can lead to loose connections. To fix them, turn your computer off, unplug all of the cables. Now, if you're comfortable, open up the computer case. Gently unplug and then firmly reconnect all of the hardware components. This includes a hard drive, the RAM modules, and any other peripherals. Once everything is securely in place, close the case, reconnect the cables, and power up your computer. Sometimes a simple BIOS misconfiguration can trigger the error. Here's how to ensure that your computer knows where to start looking. As your computer boots, press the key indicated on the screen to access the BIOS settings. Often this is F2, F12, Escape, or Delete. Navigate to the Boot Options menu and find the Boot Order Settings. Ensure your system's hard drive is listed as the first boot device. Then save the changes and exit the BIOS, and your computer will restart. If your computer's primary partition has lost its active status, this could lead to the no bootable device found error. So let's navigate this issue step by step and bring that partition back to life. Insert your Windows installation USB or DVD into your computer. Then restart the computer, and as it boots, look for a message like press any key to boot from CD or DVD, and quickly press any key to boot from your installation media. You'll now enter the Windows setup screen. Press Shift and F10 on your keyboard, and this will open up the command prompt window. In command prompt, type disk part and press enter. This will launch the disk part utility, allowing you to manage your disk partitions. In the disk part prompt, type list disk and press enter. This will now display a list of all the disks in your system. Identify your system disk from the list. 
usually it's disk zero. So then type select disk zero and press enter. Make sure to obviously replace the zero with the appropriate number if your system disk is different. Next, type list partition and press enter, and this will display a list of all of the partitions on that selected disk. Identify your primary partition, usually partition one, so then type select partition one. Again, obviously adjust the number if your primary partition is different and then press enter. Then mark the selected partition as active simply by typing active and press enter. Once you've marked the partition as active, type exit and press enter to exit the disk part utility. Close the command prompt window either by clicking the X in the corner or again typing exit and pressing enter. Now that you've marked the primary partition as active, you can proceed with the Windows installation process. Close the command prompt window and follow the on-screen instructions to either complete the process or troubleshoot any other issues. Windows offers tools to check hard drive's health. So open this PC and right click on your system drive and select properties. Then go to the tools tab and click check under the error checking and consider also using third party software to analyze your hard drive's smart data for potential issues. A corrupt master boot record can wreak havoc, so let's tackle that. Once again, have your Windows installation USB or DVD ready. Boot from the installation media and press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt. Type boot rec forward slash fix MBR and press enter. Then type boot rec forward slash rebuild BCD and press enter. Now type boot rec forward slash scan OS and press enter. Then close the command prompt and restart your computer. After all of that, even if your computer refuses to boot, you can still salvage your precious files using these steps. Begin by installing Recoverit on a functioning computer. Have a blank USB drive ready and connected. Here's how to initiate the recovery process. Launch Recoverit and select System Crashed Computer Mode. Click Start to kickstart the process. And after that, select your USB drive that is ready for configuration. Then after pressing start, a pop-up message will appear that will warn you that all of your USB data will be erased. Click format to proceed. Next, recover it will format the USB drive and configure it for recovery. You will have to wait a few minutes for this though. Once it's completed, you are now ready to start recovering your files. All you have to do is connect your USB to the computer or laptop that says no bootable device and then open the BIOS and select the USB drive as your bootable device. Next, you will have to choose between hard disk recovery or data recovery. And that's it. There you have it, folks. Troubleshooting the no bootable devices found error isn't as daunting as it might seem. If you found this information useful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay in the loop about future tech tips and data recovery solutions. And as always, if you're facing any tech problems, drop us a comment below. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.